S7 Edge horse be like? Look at my phone, I got head screen, yo! My phone's got marshmallow, everything, yo! Can't touch this, can't touch this! Note 3 horse like? Oh yeah? I got two phones and I have all of your features. Uh, I'm doing head screen all day, yo! Uh. I got the new game launcher and my phone's even rooted, yo. I got always on screen working also, yo. Try to beat that. A seven edge horse like. I just bought this, yo. How come you have all the feature I have? Hi guys, today we're gonna go ahead and learn how to turn your Galaxy Note 3 into an S7 edge. Let's go do this, baby. All right guys, so I've got it installed on both the SMN9005, the international model, and also the T-Mobile Galaxy Note 3. You can also install it on Canadian models. So if you have a Canadian T-Mobile or the international Qualcomm based edition, you can install this. I'm also working on to install it on my AT&T Note 3. Uh, I'm almost there. Once I get that working, I'll tweet it out. So watch out for that. Um, let me go ahead and show you uh, with one of these. And I've actually got pretty much everything working. The only thing that's not working uh, is stuff like fingerprint sensor, obviously, because this phone doesn't have a fingerprint sensor. It is an awesome ROM. This is called the Dark Wolf S7 Edge ROM. Uh, it is pretty awesome. It is actually for international, but it's working just fine on my T-Mobile Note 3. Now, the only thing that doesn't work on this ROM is NFC. So basically, you will lose your NFC, but calling works, um, 4G LTE works, everything works. Uh, performance is really good. You can see 4G. That's actually 4G LTE. As you can see, I've got all of the uh, edge screen features just like an S7 Edge. Now, this is a straight ported ROM, so you will get all of the features. See, I actually have more edge panels there. Uh, all of the features uh, from an S7 Edge. Now, of course, that's not all. This also gives you all of the Note 5 features. Look at that. Boom shakalaka. And check this out. If you have your screen off and take your S Pen out, you will have a off screen memos just like a Note 5. So it is an awesome ROM. Of course, you get always on screen. Also, as you can see here, it's working on my Note 3. Now it's a little dim. I think that's because I'm running out of battery. I've been testing this like all day long. I actually got up at 3 a.m. today and I've been flashing it. Uh, all my Note 3s. It's an awesome ROM. It's going to give you also Super SU root. So you have full root and all the US models on the S7 Edge still don't have root. And also um, Game Launcher also works. Hi guys, welcome to the Galaxy Note 3 uh, Game Launcher demo here. Real quick. It was Galaxy just a glitch. Note 3, uh, real quick. Alright, so it's working. Um, so that's really cool. You're gonna get all the standard apps from an S7 Edge. Performance is actually pretty good. Let me go ahead and run N22 real quick for you guys. We'll actually do that in the end because it's still downloading the app. Um, also, you get the double tap launch to camera. Now, this is an actual S7 Edge camera. Now, all the modes don't work, such as live broadcast, hyperlapse, um, pro mode will not work because of hardware limitations, but regular uh, photos and recording, video recording will work just fine. Um, you actually get the S7 Edge camera, the same one uh, found on the S7 Edge. Right, there we go. Uh, for front camera, you do get 1080p, and also for the back camera, you will get 4K. All right, 4K recording and 4K should work just fine. There you go. 4K working. All right, let's go ahead and check out performance on this bad boy real quick. All right, 50,426. Not bad score. Um, so definitely check it out. This ROM is pretty awesome. It's gonna turn your Galaxy Note 3 into an S7 Edge. You can pretty much get all of the features of S7 Edge software-wise, um, so definitely check it out. Installation is really easy. Let me go ahead and walk you through real quick. All right, go ahead and make sure you have a rooted uh, Note 3, obviously. If you don't have a rooted Note 3, um, go to my site, galaxynote3root.com. Root your phone first. 
All right, if you have marshmallow and you didn't root yet, um, you will have to uh, root it. I'll have that root method soon coming up soon. Um, so wait for that. And also get into your um, clock mod recovery or twerp recovery, all right, using uh, volume up, center home, and the power button. Sorry, just <laughs> power off your phone, hold down volume up, center home, and power. All right, uh, once you have clock or mod recovery or tour recovery, go ahead and install zip. All right, choose zip from SD card and go ahead and find the ROM. You should have downloaded it. Uh, it's the APD1 dark wool blah 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 dot zip. Go ahead and install. That's pretty much it. Uh, once you install it, um, do a white beta factory reset after. All right, do that. Go back, reboot system now, and you should have. Um, this new ROM booting. Also, you do need a lollipop bootloader or marshmallow, but obviously there's no marshmallow out uh, yet for the Note 3 series. So, so most of you probably on lollipop bootloader. Sorry, there's there's no marshmallow out for Note 3. Um, I got confused with the Note 4, so I'm not gonna put a new method, but go ahead and follow the lollipop root method for Note 3 to root it. That's pretty much it. So have a great day, folks. Now you can turn your Note 3 into an S7 Edge, enjoy all the new Samsung features and Note 5 features right there on your phone. And the next time you see an S7 Edge whore and you have a Note 3, be like, boom shakalaka. And as always, stay on Android.